What's going on YouTube? Gsnow right here. In today's video, we're talking about a new claim that there's a new TFP0 kernel exploit available for iOS 13.4.1, 13.4, and 13.3.1 coming from this account, Jailbreak Team. Now, I've been going back and forth with this account, me, Jake, and other uh, security researchers in our community, and we reached a couple of conclusions, but let's see the claims first. Now, a couple of days ago, this account posted that they have a TFP0 kernel exploit for the latest iOS version which isn't completely incredible considering that security researcher Proteus posted quote this is a TFP0 bug and exploit which is affecting iOS 13.4.1 on A13 and he posted a proof basically in Xcode in here getting a TFP0 or kernel task port getting the kernel slide calculated and the kernel base so yes it is possible to have TFP0 kernel exploit for 13.4.1 which at the time I'm making this video is the latest version available for all devices so why we believe Proteus but we don't believe jailbreak team in here because at first Proteus is a security researcher who is notorious for his bugs he has been credited in the past on Apple's security page and he has released in the past different vulnerabilities so we do know that this security researcher is indeed legitimate and we know that whatever he posts is actually real so what about jailbreak team well their account has been around since 2016 and they claim in here that they are a German iOS exploiter and researcher iOS jailbreaks finding vulnerabilities in any iOS iOS firmware, programmer, and jailbroke iOS 8 through iOS 12. And if you visit their channel in here, this is their YouTube channel, they have a lot of jailbreak videos going all the way down four years ago or even more back into the Taiji jailbreak team. So yeah, quite a lot of jailbreak videos in here, new jailbreaks for iOS 9.3.5 by jailbreak team, new jailbreak for iOS 12.1.4, uh, it's a semi untethered one before anybody had one, some demos by iJapija, which is basically another fake in our community which has been proven before to be fake um i think he even left the community at some point god bless but this jailbreak team here is obviously fake however they seem to have gathered a lot of attention in the past couple of days because many people asked me to um rectify their claims now a lot of people talked about this and uh, jake james one of the security researchers in our community started to offer his point of view about this in here and of course he believes it's completely fake now at that time jailbreak team's profile in here was full of posts about TFP0 kernel exploit, the fact that he's going to release it, the fact that it's a little bit unstable and he wants to work on it and stuff like that. Well, I didn't believe it and I asked for proof and he posted this. Well, now if you check, he actually removed everything from his profile after being called out by me, Jake James, Sam from Installer5 and many other people. But anyways, he left a couple behind. So um, if you check out in here, he also posted a video, this one here, that I requested to see if he even has a jailbreak on his device. Now he says in here that this is jailbroken with his jailbreak, which there is no way to prove. This is not serving as proof. He shows the fact that his Cydia is running on 13.4.1, but it's so easy to fake that. You just install Faza, navigate into Faza in there, into the um, system version plist, change the version, and voila, you have iOS 13.4.1, when in fact you're running 13.3 or 13.2 or 12 or whatever. This kind of trick has been done to death and beyond, so it's definitely nothing new. And he also shows the device string here with the uh, kernel string and stuff like that but these can also be faked rather easily so no this does not represent the proof so for the people like PJ in here who asked me to verify the claims I believe for the moment that this is completely fake and other security researchers in the community like Jake James do believe as well that this is fake in fact jailbreak team said in here quote nope I stopped releasing jailbreak so long ago I just explore iOS and find vulnerabilities no you don't you actually never released a proper jailbreak in fact you never released anything and also finding vulnerabilities in iOS is actually a little bit harder than creating a jailbreak with an existing vulnerability. If you have TFP0, for example from Google Project Zero, it's rather easy to put together some patches. In fact, if you know how to fix them, they should work from a version to another. It's just the offsets that are different and sometimes there are new mitigations, for example from iOS 12 to 13. But at any rate, creating a jailbreak is indeed easier than finding a vulnerability and exploiting it to get TFP0. And he never posted any of these, not a jailbreak break not a vulnerability and his channel in here is full of BS it contains a lot of videos that are basically nothing just fake jailbreaks so no if you come across this profile in here jailbreak team although I think he's going to change the name now it's not a real security
security researcher, they do not have any TFP0 kernel exploit and the only kernel exploit currently available but not released for iOS 13.4.1 is this one by Proteus Wong in here. This one is completely legit and I definitely wait for it to be released if ever. But don't put your hopes in this profile in here, they do not have a TFP0 kernel exploit, no matter how many videos and screenshots and stuff they post. So that's basically it guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to check out our Jailbreak Central forum in here for the latest real Jailbreak news, and if you need Jailbreak help, I'm Geosnow, and till the next time, peace out.